In search of precious energy, the Autobots venture forth into outer space, but the evil Decepticons attack them four million years later. The Autobots and Decepticons are reactivated. The Decepticons convert oil into energon cubes, and we workers and their Autobot rescuers trap as we begin the second episode of The Transformers. My arm! It's jammed in here! I can't get it out! I'll get you loose! Don't panic! <sighs> What are they? Fire and water. Great! You're in the right place. There. Thanks, Braun. Let's take off. Trailbreaker. Here, Prime. Activate your force shield and take a shot at that fire. I'll give him a hit. I don't know who you are, but you saved our lives. We're Autobots. We're from Cybertron, a planet far from Earth. Another planet? That's awesome! Those who tried to harm you are called Decepticons. We must stop them before they destroy your world. Can we help? We are the only ones who can stop the Decepticons. But my son Spike and I know more about Earth than you do. Hmm, maybe you can help us. The Autobots are a highly advanced form of robot. I don't really know if they're from the past or the future, but they can think and have real feelings. I can't believe this is happening to me. Hmm. I wonder who left this here. Hey, tell me more about Cybertron. What would you like to know? For one thing, why do you transform into cars and things? Simple. Disguise. Besides, it sure beats walking. Yeah, but how do you do it? Spike here wants to know how we transform, Hound. Easy, like this. Incredible. Now watch this. Who's he? Nobody. He doesn't really exist, Spike. It's a hologram. <laughs> what other tricks can you do? Try this one, Spike. Now you see me. Now you don't. Hey, where'd Mirage go? Over here! Disappearing. It's the best disguise of all. Hop in, Spike. I'm gonna take you for the ride of your life. Build up and hang on. Ravage. Intertel Plan 1. Acquire knowledge of Earth's resources. Sure is pretty out here, Spike. Earth must be a nice place to live. It's okay, but tell me about Cybertron. Before the war with the Decepticons, it was quiet and peaceful. You miss it? Sometimes. Hold tight. Hey, what's going on here? Who, who are you? Ravage, eject, eject. A Decepticon. Get him! Ravage. There he is! Get him! Fire! 
It's too dark! Can't see him! Gears, activate your infrared! There he is! Fire the net! We got him! Sherman Dam is the largest in the Western Hemisphere. The hydroelectric power plant has a capacity of 1,750,000 kilowatts. Good work, Soundwave. But that's not enough electrical power to make the energon cubes. Your knowledge is only overshadowed by your stupidity, Starscream. We are going to create a tidal wave. One that will send enough power surging through that dam to make all the energon cubes we need. We attack the dam at sunrise! Soundwave, dispatch Rumble! Rumble, activate bio drivers. Operation. Tidal wave. It's working. Excellent. Decepticons to the power plant. <laughs> Hey, Ed, look at this gauge. It's going crazy. Something must be wrong. The river's rising. Man your emergency stations. There's some sort of trouble at Sherman Dam. Yeah, a tidal wave. The power output's ten times normal. Could be the Decepticons, all right. I'll tell Prime. Decepticons did this. You're too late, Prime! There's your answer, Prowl. Autobots to the air! Looks like the heart of the tidal wave right here. Only one way to find out. Be careful, Hound! We gotta stop that water. Stop talking. Pack your shock absorbers and get in. We're gonna make a new river. Let's go! Megatron! 
You're not going anywhere. Try and stop me, Prime! <laughs> For someone who doesn't like to fight, <laughs> you're not bad, Mirage. Any last words? None you'd want to hear, Megatron. Nothing can stop me now. Not even you! So long, Autobots. Here's one Starscream's been saving for you. <laughs> You fool! Starstream! Help save the Energon cubes! Get them out of here! Follow me! You destroy everything you touch, Megatron! Because everything I touch is food for my hunger! My hunger for power! No! I'm going to end your hunger once and for all! Almost time! But almost doesn't get the job done! You can't stop me! You're old, Megatron. Yesterday's model, ready for the scrap heap! We'll see who's ready for the scrap heap! Junk! That's what you are! Junk! Silence! <laughs> when I kill you, Prime, there won't be enough pieces to sweep up! You all right down there? Hey, where's Hound? Oh! Almost flooded your engine. Thanks, Hound. You saved my. Weaving. Okay. Okay. Maybe we should repair our ship and go back to Cybertron and forget about the Decepticons. We can't do that, Mirage. If Megatron succeeds here, he'll be impossible to beat on Cybertron. But we're not fighters like they are, Prime. We must have courage, Huffer. We can't ignore the danger. We must conquer it. Space cruiser nearly complete. And the Energon cubes? 3,000 escalators more required. We need one more source of energy, sound waves. The ruby crystals of Burma. Right. They're the richest source of energy on the face of the Earth. I can almost see those ruby crystals now. What was that? Starscream! What in the universe are you doing? Testing the Energon cubes! They work! Of course they work! You didn't know! You never tested them! I proved it! You only proved your defective mentality! Now we need two strikes before we'll have enough energy to return to Cybertron! What's the difference? There's plenty here for us! 
A difference is time, you fool! You set a trap! Rocket fuel is another highly concentrated form of energy. Despite your stupidity, Starscream, our mission will succeed! First, we strike the burner crystal mines, and then we locate the rocket fuel we need. That's what we've been waiting to hear. Let's radio Prime. Don't push me, Megatron. My desire for power is as great as yours. Power flows to the one who knows how. Desire alone is not enough. Time makes all things possible. I can wait. Assemble the Strike Force! Strike Force assembled. Scramble! <laughs> Do the Crystal Mines! You know something? I like being a spy a lot better than working the oil rigs. Look, Dad, no hands. <laughs> Big deal. I'm driving. Uh-oh. I think we got company. Can't you go any faster, Trailbreaker? Sorry, this is it. I'm not built for speed. We're gonna need a hand then. Radio home base. Spark plug to Autobots. We're being attacked by Decepticons. Send help. And hurry. I may not be fast, but I'm tough. It's Sunstreaker and Sideswipe. Megatron and the other Decepticons must be inside the mine. Let's blast their tail runners out of there. We've got just a trick to do it with, too. There's enough explosive in here to bury them forever. Not so fast, Wheeljack. We know they're in there, but we don't know where. I'll go. I've worked these mines. I know my way around. And since I'm the smallest, I have the best chance of getting through. I'll stick that bomb right under their nose gear. <laughs> Hop in, Spark Plug. Once you set this timer here, you've got 60 seconds. Remember, once it's set, that's it. No turning back. I understand. If there's any problem, get out of there. We'll find another way. There won't be any problem, Prime. This one's for Cybertron and Earth. Let's go, Bumblebee. Come on, let's go inside. I've never seen anything like this. It's the ruby crystals that make it glow. They're almost alive. What's that? You know, Skywarp, I can't wait to get back to Cybertron. Earth's so flat. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean, Thundercracker. This way, we found him. This is the last load. Get ready to pull out. We have to do it now. It's done. Let's move it. Oh, no. They ought to be out of there by now. I don't like it. Something's wrong. I'll check it out. No, I'll go. I'll use roller. He's small enough to get in there without being seen. 
But we'll come with you. Stay there. If I'm not back in five minutes, come get me. Let's give Megatron a little present. <laughs> Maybe we ought to wrap him up and put a little bow on him. <laughs> it's up to you, Roller. Find out what's going on in there. And be careful. Episode of the Transformers, the Autobots create an astonishing illusion to trap the treacherous Decepticons. And Optimus Prime risks his very existence as the Decepticons rocket back to Cybertron with enough energy to rule the universe. All in the third and final part of The Transformers.